The Electro Giant is the 100th card added into the Clash Royale arena, and this big boy is no joke. Costing a whopping 8 elixir, this guy is in high company with the P.E.K.K.A, the Golem, and other expensive cards. Now for the 100th newest card added, it's only right that there be a fascinating story about how this troop found its way into the world of Clash. So here is the Electro Giant's origin story. The Electro Giant's origin story is a dark and heartwarming story that all starts off with the regular Giant. The Giant had been battling alongside the Clash Royale King for a long time now, being one of the very first troops added into the Clash Royale arena, and also one of the first troops to be unlocked as well. The Giant has had a very long and respectable run. So for a long time now, the Clash Royale King had been working hard behind the scenes to come up with a present, a present that will reward the Giant for all of his hard work. So the king had been saving up his star points for nearly two months before he finally saved up enough to finally get the giant his upgraded star levels. The giant was both surprised and super excited for his brand new star level that brought him his new golden jewelry in the form of a gold bracelet and gold brass knuckles. The giant got a chance to try them out in his next battle where he went absolutely ham and single-handedly took out a tower. He was loving his new aesthetical upgrade. So after the battle, he was so proud and happy with himself that he wanted to go and tell his brother about what happened, and so he got ready to leave the arena to go and find the royal giant to go tell him the good news. But on the giant's way out of the arena, he had a nasty surprise waiting for him. It turned out that the goblins had overheard about the giant's new golden upgrades, and now they sought to go and steal it from the giant. The giant was the perfect victim for the goblins because giants weren't known to fight other troops, and rather they only go after buildings, and so they knew that the giant wouldn't even fight back against them. And so as the giant was leaving the Clash Royale arena, the goblins waited in a bush waiting for their chance. Then as the giant passed them, they jumped out of the bush and started to approach the giant. They surrounded the giant and then swarmed him. They started trying to take the jewelry off the giant, but surprisingly and shockingly, the giant actually fought back. He cared so much about his new bling that he wasn't just going to let them take it from him like that. And so the goblins were forced to fight back too. Unfortunately for the giant though, there were just too many goblins for him to fend off on his own. And so the goblins ended up attacking him. So much that the giant was barely even alive after the goblins were done with him. The goblins ended up leaving with their new golden loot, and they just left the giant there laying on the ground. The giant laid on the ground, unable to move and having a very hard time breathing. And as soon as the goblins left and took what they wanted, the builder came out from behind a wall. He had seen everything happen, except he wasn't able to do anything to stop the goblins since he was not a fighter at all. And so as soon as it was all over, he went to the giant. He saw how badly injured he was, and so he ran off to his workshop. The builder felt super guilty that he just sat there and watched this happen to the giant, and so he felt like he desperately needed to help him now. So the builder worked tirelessly for hours in his workshop, and three hours later he finally came out and ran back to the giant. The builder had created him a device that would help him breathe easier by using electricity to pump his lungs. And since he was a magnificent builder, he also added in a special feature that would help defend the giant if ever he were swarmed by the goblins again. So anytime troops started to attack the giant, the zap pack would start to fire bolts of electricity at them. With this new zap pack that the builder gave the, to the giant, he also had to give him some new gloves and goggles to protect him from the constant surge of electricity. And also when the giant was beaten by the goblins, he also lost his ability to speak, and so the only way that he was able to say thank you to the builder was to give him a hand signal where he shot some finger guns at him. With this new surge of electricity, the giant was now also slightly stronger. And so he did more damage and had a bit more health than a regular giant. So after a few days of rest, the giant later returned to work at the Clash Royale arena. And even though he didn't have his gold bling with him anymore, he had a brand new zap pack that was going to impress everyone even more. And that there is the story of how the Electro Giant was brought into the world of Clash. I really hope you guys did enjoy the 100th troop origin story, which is the Electro Giant. It's a pretty crazy troop, and hopefully this story does sort of explain a decently well at least how he was brought into the world of Clash, and hopefully everything kind of makes sense. If there's anything that I missed out on or that I forgot to mention in the story, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I'm very open to feedback and trying to make these stories as best as possible for you guys in the future. Anyways, there is also the 101st troop that was added to the Clash Royale arenas, which is the Electro Spirit story. And so I will be coming out with that story somewhat soon. Um, it'll probably be at least two or three days until I can post that, but I am gonna be doing that. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss it. And also there is a secret message hidden throughout this video. And so if you are one of the first people to comment that, I will be shouting you out inside of the next video. 
or at least one of my future videos. Uh, so definitely go ahead, look back through the video if you guys want to possibly get a shoutout or something like that. Also, one of my favorite videos ever that I made is going to be coming out after the Electro uh, Spirit story and also after the Clash of Clans New Hero story as well. I'm going to do those two first and then I'm going to be posting the Clan Wars 1.0 vs 2.0 or uh, in other words, it'll be the Clash Royale 2018 vs 2020. Those videos always do super well for me and I put a lot of time into this one. And so that one will probably be coming out in a week. So just keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll talk more about it later. Um, but anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to say a big thanks, thank you to you guys that all came to watch. I really do appreciate all of the support that comes along with these videos. Uh, I especially appreciate it when you guys like and comment down below. Those help a ton as these videos do take a long time to make compared to just doing like gameplay or anything more simple like that. But anyways, I hope you guys stay safe out there and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.